next question. It doesn't have to be math. Forget about math for a moment. Okay, so no, no, that, that means there's nothing more you want to know about me. All right, that's fine. Then we have to go to math right then. So today's topic is going to be applications of systems of linear equation. Somebody typed something, let me see. Oh, somebody said, do you think we are coming back? Yeah, if what you mean, uh, you may also type your question. If you don't want to say it loud, you may also type your question. So that's a, another good idea. You may use the chat box to type your question. So somebody said, do you think we are coming back? If I understand the question well, do you mean coming back to the building? If the, if the, if the answer is yes to that, I will say, I'm not sure. Here's why. Right now, I believe that the government is working on a uh, vaccine so that it can help in um, treating the coronavirus or stopping it, whatever way, whatever they are going to do. So, or at least preventing people from getting sick if they get coronavirus. So gov the government is working on that seriously. They are working on that with several uh, pharmaceuticals the people who make drugs. And there are a lot of um, processes that has to take place before those uh, vaccines are, are given to people. So now those processes are going behind the scene. They are working on that. But as at right now, they still don't have a vaccine that you can go to any clinic and get. They don't have it yet. They are working on it. I believe when it is finally completed, and uh, you have a vaccine, just like you have a flu vaccine, then they will start administering it. Then the possibility of coming back to the building will be there. This is my opinion. Once again, I don't run the school. Now, why, why do I have this opinion? I have the opinion because this is winter, basically, and the virus is even spreading more. More, more PGCPS are being closed. They are not just telling us why they are closing the school for a while, for three days or four days and stuff like that. But the possibility is it is related to somebody catching coronavirus. And I believe the admins, they don't want to expose students. They also don't want to expose the academic staff if it is preventable. So uh, they are likely going to uh, continue to monitor the situation. I believe they are already doing that. And when they think it is safe for most people or for everyone, then we will come back. So that's just my opinion. It is also possible that we may not even come back this, um, uh, this academic session. That's another possibility because we don't know what is going to happen at the end of uh, January or even February, you know, when there is still coronavirus around. We don't know, all right? Okay, somebody said, I always wondered why uh, your first and the last name were the same. Okay, this one I can offer you a, an explanation. I'm from, I'm from a tribe from, in Nigeria that is called Igbo. And in Igbo tribe, there are some communities that have specific culture. In that specific culture, um, the area where I was born, one of the cultures, part of it, is part of it. It's not, not everybody, uh, you know, does that, but most people do. So part of the culture is what is called namesek. Namesek means if a child is born, so the family will look at either a member of the family or a friend of the family that they want to name the child. So it could be an immediate family. It could be an extended family. It could also be... Uh, a friend of the family. So they will name the child. So it's, it's similar to what you, you people call here, godson or goddaughter, whatever is that. But then when, when they make you the godson or the goddaughter, they will name the child, the name of that person they chose. So now in this particular case, the firstborn, the firstborn is always named after the grandfather, the paternal grandfather. The second male child, is often named the name of the father, okay? So in my particular case, I am not the firstborn, I am the second born, second male, second male child of my family. So then my father named me after himself. 
By the way, it is the father that names a child, not the mother. So it's a traditional right. Okay. So now sometimes they will name you, they will give you two or three other names. And then uh, you decide on which one. They, they, they will, the one they, they prefer among the two names, they, that's the one they will start calling you. And that's the one they will uh, use in registering you uh, through all these your uh, uh, official, official registrations. Okay. So another person said, um, do you get tired of waking up early and sitting in front of um, a computer every day? Uh, the answer to that question is no. I try to catch as much sleep as possible, like three, uh, five hours or six hours maximum. I don't sleep more than six hours. I mostly speak, uh, sleep five hours. So once I sleep my five hours and wake up, computer is part of my job. You see? By the way, before I, I, I came to PGCPS, I was working with computers. I'm an information technologist. That's what I am. And that's what I work with. So I'm used to uh, basically working with computers before I joined PGCPS. If you take a quick look at part of my bookshelf, I'll just give you a portion of, I'll just give you a bit, another, my shelf, just a little bit more. So you can see a lot of computer books. <coughs> So I don't get tired um, waking up and working on computers.